All right, Kyrus is looks like he's ready to go. Let's let's start off with Dean and Connor on these two, please. Hey, Kyrus, it was another big day for passing. Um, I, I just guess my question kind of is: uh, Is this the normal thing that y'all been doing in in spring ball? Has it been this much throwing and this much uh, connection on that front? It's it's just G day, just being out there throwing the ball around, just trying to keep guys healthy, you know, just being safe and just being able to sling the ball around the day was just actually fun, just bringing over what we've been doing all week and just these 15 practices have been fun, just being out here to compete, throwing the ball around because the only way you get better in the passing game is actually doing it in practice and um, just being able to execute and just throw the ball around, throw and catch, and that's we was able to do some of that today and just have fun doing it at the same time. Hey, Kiaris, uh, what did you make of Adonai Mitchell really this whole spring with what he was able to do uh, today at G-Day? Yeah, um, AD has all the potential to be one of the, one of the best freshman receivers in this um, year, just being able to, he's very athletic and things like that. But um, he's still room for improvement, conditioning-wise, just being able to sustain. And um, so far, he did put on the showcase today, but it's still room for improvement. All right, for our next two, let's go with Mark Weiser and Charles Odom, please. Harris, I want to ask you about the uh, the young DBs that, that you went up against. Kind of what, what I know you're rooting for them to develop, but you're also wanting to beat them on plays. Kind of what, what did you see from some of those guys that you went up against? Uh, they're competitors. Um, they fight. They fight every every drive, every play. They want to get better. They are very intentional about their work. They want to go against the best. They want to just be able to be on the field and each one of them will fight for their position and just they attack the day like a pro. They want to be, like I said, they want to be the best. And uh, they know what's upstate. They know what we're capable of doing. And so they come out to practice every each and every day and go hard. And um, it's, it's, it's a great matchup, especially going against the guys we go with. And um, I don't pretty much see them as young guys, they're just guys with a little bit of inexperience and things like that. But as they still, they're going to get better as the season go by. As the, as we get ready to go over to like summer workouts and things like that. So I feel like this spring has really helped them like confidence wise, just knowing what we what we about, how we practice and things like that. So just be able to go against some of the best receivers uh, every day is just it's it's gonna only gonna help them better. Jarris, we saw uh, of course uh, touch uh sex uh, uh today, but um it looked like uh, JT uh, has some good mobility um, r- running around back there. Is that something you think uh, that may be uh, something we see different this year, a uh, one year removed from his injury? I can't really say that it's something different. It's just how the way he plays. He's just what he brings to the table as a quarterback. But like I said, like, we still have to get better uh, with the guys around him, starting with the O-line, just being able to hold up in front and just being able to, to protect the quarterback. Next up, let's go with Anthony Dasher and Davis Baker, please. Hey, Kyrus, good to see you. What can you uh, tell me about AD? I mean, uh, you know, Coach and uh, JT both were saying, hey, this guy's been doing this all spring, but you've worked with him all this whole time. What, is, what does he bring in hand and how surprised you by what he's done? I got to say, um, he's very athletic for um, what he brings to the table. He brings a lot to the table, just being able to things that he can do, just being just an athlete, just, just natural t- talent. But once he gets to learn the system, how to um, – how to practice and how to be able to sustain reps after reps and no telling how good he can be. But right now he's still working, still progressing and uh, just excited to see what type of receiver he grows into. Curious, I just want to know what your goals were, you know, as a veteran moving into the summer and eventually into the fall. Um, Some of my uh, main goals is just be a leader, be there for my teammates. Um, It's a team sport. Um, Every team needs leaders. So I'm big on leadership this year. Just being able, knowing that I'm pushing my, not only pushing myself, but pushing the ones around me, and just being to try to become the best route runner, um, yards out the catch guy that's um, in this league. So that's one of my goals for this year, and just be able to, to win games with my teammates. All right. Next up, do we have questions for Mike Griffith and Catherine Lewis? Yeah. How much uh, this, this uh, offense of Todd Munkins, how much does the receiver have to be able to read at the line of scrimmage? It's, I don't think it's as simple as breaking the huddle and knowing what routes you're going to run. Can you give us some insight as to what goes into being a good receiver in this offense? Yeah, just learn how to be a, bit, a good receiver, just knowing all the small details, just 
what separates you just the, the small details is what's going to separate you knowing what type of defenses their uh, opponents are in, how to run certain routes versus certain coverages, how to beat certain leverages. It's all to it. So it's just all about getting the film wrong. Like what you see on film is what you're going to see in the game. So if you study on film, watch film, then you'll know what's going to come when we get to the game. So that's all. That's pretty much film study. Hey, so after a couple wideouts were unable to play today due to injury, how did that leadership that you just talked about um, show up on the field today? Um, just having guys being able to push through, like myself, just just knowing that you have to go out there. We have guys down, but we still have to go out there and practice. We still have to go out there and compete. So it's nothing with guys being guys, just giving opportunities for other people to step up and have that opportunity and um, just – taking advantage of every opportunity given, knowing that what's that state with guys being down, we have to be there for each other and being able to push through. And uh, that's been pretty much the main thing this whole spring with the receiver group, being able to push through and fight. Harris has time for another question or two, if anyone else, else has any questions. Harris, I'll ask a, a question if you can hear me. Uh, I want to just ask about Brock Vandergriff, what you've seen uh, of him in practice, um, you know, as he came in from high school, uh, just, you know, down the road. Um, Brock is a very, he's, just, he's a competitor. Um, he wants to learn. He wants to, he's very engaged, very intentional about what's going on. Just, just a young guy trying to get better. Like, just want to get better at what he does, just knowing what, how we run an offense, how to practice looking out for certain reads, just knowing what to do at the quarterback position so he could be successful. And um, he's very intentional about wanting to get better. Time for one more question, if anybody has one. Yeah, Karis, I think you've done some some leadership uh, classes off the field. I think I saw where you've done that. Can you talk about what that meant uh, that, that Coach Smart, I guess, picked you for that role? And what did you gain from some of those leadership uh, seminars you were at? Yeah, just being able to be on a uh, part of the SEC Leadership Council, being on the SAC leadership, um, student leadership council here at Georgia has really molded me to something that I always had a passion for. I always had a passion for just one the best out of everybody, just knowing that what I have a passion for, I feel like everybody else should have a passion for. And um, I just feel like just being a leader is a big thing. Um, it, it takes you a long way, especially how your character, character, take character and respect is something that I really live off of. And um, I just, I always want the best of everybody. So me being a leader, I just try to push everybody to the max because I know that people are capable of doing it. And um, I'm kind of glad, Coach, well, I'm not kind of glad. I'm actually, I'm glad that Coach Smart has put me in the positions to grow in those leadership um, positions. Okay, Kiaris, thank you. Thanks for everybody else for tuning in. Appreciate it.